Kokoro Botan is a shoujo manga, that's a girl's manga, girl's comics. It was published in Betsukomi from 2009 to 2013. Quite popular, I think. It uh, is translated to German and French. And I read all the 12 Tankobon volumes that I have here this summer, most of them actually. And, uh, and a few words about uh, girls' comics. They often work as sort of guidelines for how to live, I think. Uh, they provide uh, examples on how to date, of course, uh, but also how to greet your partner's parents, how to do an ojigi, the Japanese bow, and uh, also how to call your uh, partner. So should you call your partner by his first name? That's a very huge step because it's so intimate. So for the protagonist of this manga, Kasuga Nina-san, her boyfriend is called Koga Eito-kun. So Koga-kun is what she calls him, his last name and the suffix. And um, for her to drop the suffix kun and to only say Eito, his first name, there are three chapters that are only devoted to her failures in doing so because it's so embarrassing to her. This comic is very based on ceremonies and uh, external events that everyone can relate to probably. So of course there are Christmas celebrations and uh, birthdays, what shall I get him for his birthday? But there are also the school festivals, especially the school festivals, the culture festival at school, the sports festival. And then there are the summer festival. And uh, Hanami to go out and watch cherry blossoms. And almost every chapter is based on something like this. So I think that the, all of the readers can relate because these festivals are the same all over Japan. And the story is romance, so of course to me that is very captivating. But after a while, even I get enough of it, it becomes too sweet. And therefore I was very interested in the story arc where Kasuga-san is thinking about her future. Because she realizes that all her female friends, and also of course Koga-kun, have already decided what they are going to do after high school. But she hasn't. Her only interest is Koga-kun. So she starts thinking about what, what am I interested in? And unfortunately this arc never closes. So Usami-san abandons it, I would say. And that's very sad. But that made me also sympathize very much with the side characters, which are interested in other things than just romance. So Hayami-kun is my favorite um, side character. He is a young writer and he actually, so there's romance here too, because he actually falls in love with Kasuga-san, that is his best friend, Koga-kun's girlfriend. And this leads to the drama that most captivated me throughout these 12 volumes. So these 12 volumes, they contain 53 chapters and they were published once a month in this Betsukomi magazine. It must be said also that Usami Maki Sensei's drawing style is excellent. And I think it, this is probably typical of shoujo manga that it's not that text heavy. And that makes it relatively easy to read for a non-Japanese speaker. I think I realized for the first time in my life even how much can be expressed by frames without text. There can be full spreads with nothing but drawings. And um, to fully realize the power of subtle changes in the eyes and the smiles, it, it was uh, quite fascinating actually.